All right, in this video, I'm gonna show graphing a radical inequality. So I'm gonna start by thinking about what this equation would look like if it was y equals square root of two x minus six. And I'm gonna factor out that two because I want my b value alone. So this is a square root graph where it's horizontally stretched. And remember, we're gonna do that by taking our x values and dividing by two and then moved to the right three. So I'm gonna take my parent function and the point zero, zero is gonna become the point three, zero. And instead of putting a solid circle there, I'm gonna put an open circle because this is a strict inequality. It says only less than, not equal to. And the point three, zero is on this graph, but I really wanna graph my inequality. The next point I'm gonna think about is on my parent function, I would go 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 2. So I'm going to think about the 4, 2 because I said I want to divide my x values by 2. So the point 4, 2 on my original, I'm going to half the 4 and then move it 3 to the right. So that's going to be 5. I'm doing nothing to my y values. There's no sort of stretch. So I'm going to have the point 5, 2. So 5. 2 is here, again, an open circle. The next point I'm going to take is 16, 4. And I'm doing that again because I want to divide by 2. So I'm going to divide by 2 and get 8, move it 3 to the right, and get 11. Y value is still 4. So here's 11, and here's 4. I'm going to go ahead and create my square root graph with a dashed line. And again, I'm doing a dashed line because I know a solid line Ooh, a solid line would imply equal to, and I don't want equal to, I want less than. So now I want to indicate on my graph all sets of points x, y that make my inequality true. So I know that any point that I choose coming straight down from the point three, zero. Well, when I plug in three for my x value, I'm gonna get zero here, because I'll have two times three minus six is zero, square root of zero is zero. Any negative number is gonna be less than zero. So all of the points on this line are gonna be true. Similarly, any point that is underneath my curve will also make that inequality true. So for example, if I pick the point here, for example, 5, 0, if I test that, so I'm wondering, does 5, 0 make the inequality true? I can say, is 0 less than the square root of 2 times 5 minus 6? And that's true. This is a positive value. Square root of a positive value is greater than 0. So I have a true statement for everything underneath here. I don't need to test anything for x less than three, because that's gonna lead to an imaginary value. Any x less than three is gonna give me a square root of a negative, which is imaginary. Any value above this isn't going to satisfy this inequality. So this is my shading and that's my graph.